Hey, so welcome back to Cody Diecast. We are just closing up the last video we did on yeah. the Skyline convention car. Yeah, dude, I'm still tripping that you even opened that freaking $300 car, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Especially when you said that somebody would have traded you a vintage 510 for that. I mean, dude, you already got the two Pinnacle cars. You got two Skyline, one chrome blue, one chrome purple. And you know what? It ain't going to get better than that unless Hot World comes out with a gold one, a chrome gold, chrome gold rims, metal on metal, real riders, and even more limited than that. But then, yeah. I don't think so. But I'm not trying to make you feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why I just needed to rip it open. The, the more the more I thought about it, I'm like, I got it for us to do a video on. Let's, yeah. let's get it open. Uh, let's uh, you know deal with the done? aftermath after. <laughs> you know what you could have done? If you traded it, you could have opened that vintage. And you would have opened a $500 car. Oh, no, that, more that, people would have went, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> that vintage racing 510 is way way above 500 now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I would have liked it, but I'm not like... it. It's not like I'm going to... You know, bend over backwards to get it. Um, I wanted to open this one though. I I, I do want to keep this yellow one uh, with the blue and the purple one. So yeah, I, it's, I, gonna, it's gonna it's gonna be their ugly their ugly friend. Yeah, well, I considered <laughs> I considered it when I saw the trade. I'm looking for the trade now on the group page to see. Um, was that a long time it. ago that the guy wanted to do it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't that long ago. Oh. You know, it suck if he goes, yeah, I'll give two for one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, but, if, you know, like, I doubt it because if, it's, if that car costs that much, you know, he probably, he probably got it off the shelf. You know what I mean? Yeah, I may have just... You know, got them when they were pig warmers, so it's not yeah, a yeah. He probably got them. He probably got them at, at cost, whatever five bucks or whatever they were going for on the pigs, and just sat on it. You know what I mean? And you know, but now they they're worth that much, so I mean, he can easily sell it. Like even if he was to bring the price down to like I don't know three hundred, two hundred, just so he can buy one of these. Yeah. To me, that's what I would do. If if no one wanted to trade, I just sell it. I find out what they were going for, sell it on eBay for that money, for that amount, and I just go buy one from somebody already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like if, if you've got multiple, if you if you said that the guy has multiples, then why not? You know what I mean? Or maybe that might be his only one, and he just into skylines. But if I had multiples, oh damn, that's what I would do. Yeah. I would sell it for whatever I could get, and then just go buy one already. If nobody, if nobody wanted to trade, or if nobody had one to trade so yeah and definitely, I would say that he would be trading for like the blue one or the purple one. Oh well he's a member RLC member so he would have already oh, had the oh, purple yeah. So. yeah then he got one then. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Sorry I'm trying to look well, it up right now to see if I can find a post. But I hope it doesn't say wanting to trade two vintage racing <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then I I probably would have did a giveaway. That would have been Ooh. an epic giveaway, right? All you gotta say is like we're giving away a vintage racing Datsun five ten, but we gotta reach two thousand subscribers. Twenty six hundred. If only. Yeah. Hey, we 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 reached it. <laughs> All of a sudden, after after somebody wins, well, we go back down to like eight something. <laughs> Hey, what happened? <laughs> yeah, or everybody just undid their their subscription since they didn't win. But then again, would we really want people like that? No, because we got some really cool guys on our on our channel that that subscribe, and you know what? Yeah, I like all the dudes that we got because you know what? Everybody's cool, everybody's hardcore, and you know what? We got some good people, so I don't think I would trade that. Yeah, me too. Although, did you find it? Did you find is is uh, stuff still up? Um, I'm still scrolling through the post right now, but because um, I'm kind of curious, how much is that vintage? 
How much is that vintage? Uh, uh, five ten. Yeah, how much is that? I was curious. I haven't. I haven't looked haven't, it up in a while, but it. It's, yeah, I know. Last time I looked it up, a lot of that vintage stuff was like stupid, man. It was. I was just like, what? What the hell? Yeah. And, well, you know, I don't know. You know what happens when some people, you know, somebody sells it for really high, and everybody that's holding them, holding theirs, they start putting it up for sale, which starts to drive down the prices because now there's so much available. Yeah. Which is good. I'm not trying to say that that's bad, but I mean, it's not going to come down to, you know, peg prices because that was what oh, yeah, no, three forty yeah. nine or. Unless time. somebody goes, hey, I just found two cases of this. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I know I heard some people did have that much. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's somebody sitting on a case somewhere. There's always somebody sitting on a case. Yeah. For every for every hoarder, vulture, pallet raider, collector, or, you know what I mean, flipper or whatever, there's always somebody... That is buying it by the case somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, either they, they, they were they love it so much, or you know, it's just they know that it's gonna be a hit, or they're just taking a gamble on it, and so you know, and if that happens to hit, and you figure you got a case of that, and it's it's like over five bills, pfft, you know what? Just set. You could just sell one car and probably pay for that case. Yeah. So uh, I did find it. I found it. What? Oh, you found the... the, the I found the post. The, the post ad. Yeah, I'll cut off the... Um, the the poster's name. And I'll post the picture of... Uh, it's a screen print. Uh... Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that was. It says no international trade. So. Oh, oh, it's not a local guy then. No, he is, but he doesn't want to do an international trade. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, it it was vintage racing five ten for a, a skyline um, convention car. Yep, that's it. Oh man, well, I I I mean I don't really, I'm not gonna sweat over it because I How really. How long ago do was like, it? It shows May 18. Oh, you probably got one already. Yeah, it, the the post is updated that uh, somebody accepted. Yeah, because I don't I don't who the oh check this out. Vintage Racing Datsun Hot Wheels, free shipping, but right now get two bids for 50 bucks. But it's only been, it's, it's, it's six days left. <laughs> oh, it just went up then. Oh, dude. Oh, no, this is Hot Wheels Vintage Racing BRE Datsun Bluebird 510. $65 or best offer. Nine eighty shipping. But it's, it's uh, what you call? Open, it's loose. Vintage racing? Yeah, Five it's ten? loose. And nobody's bidding on it. Oh. And there's like three days left. Is it a and custom? It's, no, it's the guy just opened it. Sixty five dollars loose or best offer and shipping is nine sixty. And then uh there's another one. Buy it now, four hundred ninety nine ninety five. In the package. So let's though. see what this thing actually sells for. On a consistent basis. Let's check out the soul, baby. Okay, 425. Best offer accepted. 400. $7 shipping. 475. $5 shipping. 398. Nope, that's, some, that's something else. 449. Yep, so. It's 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 past four hundred. Oh, so it is in the fours. Yeah. Well, I know that they, that some of the uh, Instagram raffles were bringing it up to like eleven hundred. What? Yeah. 
Well, it's a raffle, so you can have ten people ten a uh, bid ten dollars, and you'll get a hundred dollars. But if you oh. open it up to a hundred people at ten dollars, you're gonna get a lot of money. Oh yeah, dude, check this out. Okay, a freaking the the vintage racing five ten loose. <laughs> $277, bro. 27 bids. But that sold in July. Holy crap. Loose. But there's another one right here. Loose 136. And there's another one. This says Ultra Rare Datsun 510 Vintage Racing Plus Datsun 510 Wagon did, Boulevard. Did you Bolt see loose. what that that $65 one looks like? Uh, what you mean the sixty-five dollar one? Yeah, it's the red one, the red one for the red forty-five. Yeah, it's forty-six. The number on it. It's 46. Oh yeah, forty-six, forty-six. But did you look at it? Really good. No, why? The thing is it's trashed. Yeah, the thing is trashed. Oh, maybe that's why it's so cheap then. Yeah, and they buy it now for a loose one. Well, one sold at two seventy seven. This other one sold at one thirty six. Uh, well, another one sold at oh three hundred bucks, bro. Loose, dude. Wow, oh. that is insane, bro. You know, if I drop three hundred, three hundred twenty five dollars, okay. I might as well drop another twenty five and pay three fifty. Is that again pay three fifty? Well there goes those cars again. They must be going in the other direction now. How bust up was the sixty five dollar one? Was it really ugly? Yeah. Jeez, there's another yeah. one that sold in June. Three hundred and fifty dollars or best offer. Bro, the guy didn't even offer one best price. He just paid the three fifty, dude. That's crazy, bro. I wouldn't. Yeah, man, negative. It's a nice car, but sorry. Yeah. If anything that would look that that would be worth that money, would be something like would have to be chrome, bro, to me. <laughs> chrome colored, you know, chrome motor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Now I see it. Oh yeah, it is. How did it get all busted up like that? It's probably the guy's like pocket car. I kept it on him, or maybe played with it. I don't know. Kid got oh, a yeah, hold of you're it. Right. That is trashed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'd be surprised if anybody even gave him sixty-five for that. Well, cars going for that much, somebody might. Maybe. True. Maybe. So, since uh, everybody's listening right now, and we got nothing for them to look at, uh, we'll just preview next week's. Uh, we've got a mail call. Actually, we have two mail, two boxes we're gonna open with mail call, and then one of those, this one, we're gonna do a separate video opening because I wanna show you what I saw when I opened it up so I took the labels off the shipping labels off so that it's not showing on video and uh, when I opened it to check out the packaging inside you'll see it next week tune in next week and then we're gonna start um, transitioning the HW 50 into more of a podcast on uh, movies and diecast kind of direction. Two things that are favorites. <laughs> yeah. Two if you've things. been on our channel for a long time and you've been hardcore with us, you know damn well that both of us are movie fanatics as well as car fanatics. So yep. we like to merge those two together. Why? Because it's just so damn awesome. Yep. And movies strike at not the heart of everyone, but it kind of gets everybody involved more because you. Like, like who, 
who doesn't watch movies, bro? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we did a video with the Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah. So, Hollywood Rides on Hollywood Rides, but Green Light uh, Hollywood Collections just put out another Nova from Beverly Hills Cop. You know, and then uh, they also did the Camaro. I sent these to you on text. They did the Camaro yeah. from Christine. Those are nice. And this was a surprise to find the Texas Chainsaw. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know they made that damn van, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know what's cool is uh, growing up, my, uh, my grandmother's brother had a van like this. And um, his wife, my Auntie Bev, used to drive it. It was a. Uh, uh, column shift one of those really old column shift cars and the cool thing is my grandpa and grandma had a van like this that it was a rattle can sprayed uh, sprayed rattle can sprayed black and all the windows were sprayed black but we had one like this too and no you had it right the first time sprayed it no, yeah. it's not. It's it's, just a, it's in the new H Dub Five O dictionary. Yep. And uh, we used to use that to move all the sound equipment for the Hula shows. And yeah. I found this. Actually, I lied. I didn't find this. Let's get these boxes out of the way. My wife found this. She texted me, and I was like, "Whoa, I really want it." But it's kind of pricey. It's the Walmart Fast and Furious uh, garage set. And I don't the know only if... thing it's missing is the um, the Kynes car. Uh, what do you call Paul Walker's one? And um... Paul Walker's car is oh, right no, there. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's missing the Lightning. Oh, the the truck. Yeah. But they've already put out the truck in uh, a set, so. I know. The thing is, the Jetta's in here again. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. They got the Jetta. And but I don't know if the... that Jetta's exactly the same as the other one. It they, is. They normally don't do it exactly the same. It might be a little different. <laughs> but, well, when we open that, shame. I'll pull out the other one. And then we can check. Yeah, let's check. So, yeah. It looks like the other one. So yeah, we're looking forward to the transition, and it's hopefully we we don't get copyright strikes for the stuff that I want to put in the videos. But uh, I do yeah, want to do a lot of cool stuff, and hopefully they don't you know they don't give us any drama with that. I mean, it's, we're not making money, we're not selling anything. We just we just love movies, we just love diecast, and we're just trying to like share. That's yeah. it. Well, unfortunately. Just because you don't make money from it, that doesn't mean you don't get in trouble. So, I know. Yeah, copyright is copyright. So we're, we're gonna try and see if we can use the the material under the uh, fair use under fair use, and hopefully we don't get any copyright strikes on it. But I don't yeah, think we'll we, see. I don't think we should because we're not sh gonna necessarily show. The movie clips in the the entire movie, like uh, like if you watch on YouTube, uh, you have people that are watching the movie and commenting at the same time. But in actuality, they're showing the entirety of the the movie. That is what would be a copyright strike. If you're using it uh, to comment on it, and you're using clips, and you properly uh, cite. The copyrights um, and refer people to the actual, you know, movie to, you know, to pay or buy it. Then um, that's that's a little different. It's it's more well, of a promotion. We're, we're gonna than, find out. Yeah. Soon enough. We'll so put, if you don't see it on, well, I guess we didn't get it. We'll put up if one. Well, we're not gonna know unless the video is put up. So we'll put up one video. We'll see how that runs. Yep. Uh, so this will probably be on the podcast for the H Dub Five O. Uh, we're gonna preview it here on Cody Diecast, but we'll put it up on H Dub Five O instead, because that's the direction we're going with. We're, we're kind of cross promoting here to try to 
fool YouTube's algorithm into thinking two channels are promoting each other and kind of get more uh, uh, more su us into more suggested videos than we are um, now so hopefully that works we'll yep, continue even though, even, though, even, even though you just revealed what we're gonna do so. <laughs> yeah well that's hopefully you guys don't watch them <laughs> that's no secret they they do have um, YouTube people that put out that kind of stuff and I, I do watch that kind of stuff so hopefully we can improve the videos it's fine I just thought that was so funny. It was like hey, just telling every, just telling the YouTube guys what we're gonna do. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's the algorithm's automatic. So if you no, I know. I, I just, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like going, yeah. Well, we're not gonna rob the bank today. It's gonna be tomorrow at about three yeah. thirty. But you know, not today. Just wanted to let you know, bro. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, hopefully it'll be good because we got a lot of cool movie cars. So yeah, hopefully you know, like I said, you know, it does work. We'll see. So we did do a, a Christine opening where we had a, a I think it was the Auto World Christine and the Hot Wheels. The Mijo. Uh, yeah, Christine. the Mijo and the Auto World. You actually had the, the you actually had the better one. Because you had the Christine that was, I don't know if that was a Chase or what, but you had the premium one. Oh, yeah. Where that... the, paint, the paint was kind of <clears> like, <throat> almost like a, a blood candy. Yeah. It was, it was, it was like a blood candy red. It was really nice. And it was, it was the one already the case. And I like that one. That was the best one I've seen out of all of them, man. Yeah. Like the one, that's the Miho one I think you got. And that one was really nice, the one in the case. All the other ones was like red, but the one you had was on really deep. Yeah, it was more like a you know, metallic y spectra frame looking blood red. You know, maybe I'll really just nice. maybe I'll I'll uh I'll post a link right here to that video and uh everybody can go watch that back yeah. before we put up the the Camaro part from the Christine movie. And maybe we'll go back and rewatch it, and see if uh, we can pull any any ideas from that video onto this video, or maybe answer any questions we may have had. And uh, we'll we'll follow it up on the the podcast one with the Camaro. Yeah. Well, you can always go pull up. Oh, did you bury the Christine already? No, the Christines are in in my display in the in the house. Okay, well, I can always yeah. take out the Christines, match them up with the Camaro, but it's going to make the... Oh, I really hate to say this, man. The Christines are basically going to dwarf the Camaro. <laughs> yeah, well... Because, <laughs> you know, I don't like saying that, but apparently that car... I, I, I think that's a... What is that? That's a... Belvedere. Christine was a... Was that a Ford? No, Plymouth Belvedere. Yeah, Belvedere. Yep. And so that red one, like I said, that you got is really the one in the case. Yeah. That was really that was really not, like I wanted one. I swear, it was so I so nice. I wanted one, bro. I thought that was an Auto World, you know. No, that was a well. I know it was a. I know it was a Miho. I don't know if that was Auto World Miho or Johnny Lightning Miho, but I know it was a Miho because it was the only one that came in a case. And the color was just, the color, the rims, the quality was just exceptional. Like, it was even better than the premium one. So, I guess that one was like the ultra premium. I, I don't know. But that one is actually more expensive, too. That one you got, the one in the case. Yeah. But if I had to get one, that's the only one I'd get. Because everything else pales in comparison to that one. That one is really nice. Okay, so I, I did a quick search of the channel and it does it is a Plymouth Belvedere and a Christine that we opened up so the Hot Wheels version is the I think that's the Boulevard uh, Plymouth Belvedere and yeah. then the Christine was the Auto World I have it written right here it's Auto World it's the Auto World uh, Miho one right uh, I didn't write down whether it was a Miho or not 
Um, let's see. Yeah, I didn't write down whether it was a Miho exclusive, but it probably was because the color. I remember us going over the color. Uh, it's it's like a like a candy, almost mirror red. Yeah. Yeah. Which is. It, Every freaking time. Windows said you cannot do that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You know, I missed that. I think he pointed it out in between the videos that, that, that happened while we were doing the Unimog, but uh, from the, what was that, the terrain set? Yeah. Yeah, I missed it. I must have been talking too much. Yeah, the wild terrain set. <laughs> oh, you, you, you heard it after? No, no, I didn't. Uh, I, I heard you oh. mention that, that. I didn't catch you. I normally do. <laughs> but it's probably because I was talking. So. Oh man, I'm trying to. Because uh, I know I. Oh, here it is. Yeah, you gotta wait there because you know, I only have seven megabytes. <laughs> on my awesome internet system here in the islands we are so heavily advanced I don't know about so, you but I got fiber here <laughs> 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 and I'm on yeah. the same rock as you <laughs> yeah I'm on the I'm on this side of the rock <coughs> the, the one uh, the, the one I'm looking side? at is it is, it is a mijo it's one out of, uh, I can't magnify it because I'm still buffering. So, yeah. But uh, it is Auto World. It's the silver screen. It's the Miho. Uh, this it's sounds the, familiar. It's the Auto World silver screen, Christine, and Evo 1958 Plymouth Fury. Wait, how come it says Plymouth Fury, but you said it was Belvedere? The Belvedere is the um, the Hot Wheels one. Oh yeah, this one says Plymouth Fury. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it Christine matches. is the Fury though. And what what's cool about it is the one you got is it says Christine on the damn base, so you you don't you don't have to do anything but just put it on your showcase. It's done. Yeah. And you know what? When my stuff ends up finished buffering, two days from now, I'll be able to magnify it. <laughs> this is so awesome. So yeah, but um, yeah, it was kind of like a almost like a mirror, not really a, not like a full mirror. It's kind of like I don't know, Zamac with like candy over it almost, but a little better than that. It's really hard to describe. It was really, it's really nice though. And again, like I said, if it wasn't like, I don't know, you got yours for like dirt cheap, man. What was it, 10 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, like, it's like, it's like $25, $30. Yeah, which you know? was surprising because uh, the guy that I bought it from was moving, so he was purging stuff, and yeah. that was the one that everybody else bypassed, and I was like, oh, I'm going to pick up Christine. I, I want the Christine. No, that that was a that was a that was a. Okay, so this is really irritating, and I want to like jump into my. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's the one. Miho exclusive, one of thirty six hundred. At accurately scale diecast metal body and chassis, opening hood. Yeah, that's the one. Um, uh, Auto World Silver Screen Machines. It's called comes in the case and Christine is in red that is that's nice like that really yeah that was good so I don't you know, I, I don't know the difference now if Hot Wheels did a chrome version of that that'll be probably that'll probably beat all the world <laughs> yeah so I don't know the difference but I'm looking up Plymouth Belvedere it's a 58 Belvedere that I have um, and when I look up Plymouth 
theory uh, that's the Christine so why did Hot Wheels do the Belvedere it said Belvedere it, it, it's Christine but, but it says Belvedere on it yeah is it like a retro entertainment Christine um you know I don't remember now I'll have to go back on the video cause um cause entertainment did put out a 58 Plymouth it just says 58 Plymouth though Christine I, I wonder if I cause it only makes sense to be called the Fury you know what I mean that, that's perfect yeah and I don't know like you know when you think about having a car I mean, yeah the car was evil but dude you never have to do body work bro yeah you smash your car you wake up in the morning she fix you know would be I mean it'd be cool if it was like I mean you probably want a Mustang and I'd probably get a Camaro <laughs> so I'd have to go with Bumblebee and well I don't know who's a, oh you'd have to go with Barricade see so hmm but you'd probably take Barricade back to the 80s so he does the Fox body and I'll have to take Bumblebee way back to the six sevens. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know why Hot Wheels said that. You know, there's a there's a different Christine. I'm wondering it's if a, I I wonder gray. if I got it Did wrong. You see the gray version? No, I'm wondering there's if I got version. it wrong. Um, I mean, there's Plymouth, and there also could be Dodge. Well, this one, I don't know. I'll have to look back at the video. Oh, there's a burn version. That's what it is. Oh, you got to get that now. Because <laughs> you got the, you got Ecto, you got Ecto-1, you got uh, Ecto-1A, and then you got the Ecto that's the hearse, right? Yeah. Before they turn it into Ecto. Oh no, I didn't get that yet. Oh okay, yeah, but I know you're gonna get that. So they have uh Christine when she caught on fire. Oh wow, this is pretty cool. Wow, they got a burnt version Christine and it's all burnt, but it looks it looks cool, dude. Is that um who's that from? Auto World. The Silver oh, Auto Screen. World. Yeah, they made a burnt version. Wow, it's pretty nice. Oh yeah, I see it. It's uh, it's all cracked and stuff. Interesting. Wow, dude, that'll be. Isn't that how he found her? No, not burnt. He found her all busted up. Oh, I must be looking at a different one. Oh yeah, no, I'm looking at a different one. Yeah, the burnt one. I see that now. Yeah, and the the hood opens too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you I see the Miho be, exclusive one. Huh? I see the Miho exclusive one now. Yeah, see, there's a you see the difference, yeah. Yeah. When you look at the regular, when you look at the regular Auto World, and you look at the Miho one, the color is a lot. Is yeah, just everything is just battle, bro. It's it's worth the money, man. Like if you're gonna collect movie cars, that would be the one of Christine to collect. And it, it's still in a, in an affordable range, about twenty twenty five bucks. It's not that bad. It's not that stupid, you know, but, you know, I mean, like I said, it's still in affordable ranges right now. So if you're a hardcore horror fan, hardcore movie fan, you know, plus you're a diecast, you know, gearhead, you know, and you want to get Christine, I, you know, my opinion, that's like the better one to get unless Hot Wheels comes out and they make a chrome variation of that. And then, I don't know, that might be a little different. But that one's going to be hard to beat because it's already in a case and Christine is on it. Now, unless HW makes one where they put it in the case and limit it, make it chrome, oh, damn, you're going to have to upgrade that too now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, I'm... If, they, if they make a chrome version, I know you're going to get it. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be the three previews. Or actually, we, I think we did more than three. We did like six previews because we had the yeah. 
the Fast and Furious. We had the Texas Chainsaw, Christine Beverly Hills Cop. We have the mail call, and then we're going to open one of the mail calls once we open it. So the mail call is going to stay kind of secret for now until we get it open. So, yeah, I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven videos. That's a week and a half. So, or not a week and a half. So, everybody, stay tuned, bro. We got a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of cool stuff. Like John said, we got a surprise, so... We're not going to tell you what the mail call is. Yep. And thanks for watching uh, Cody Diecast, and we'll see you on the next one.